the format of the robot. I'm sure you are all familiar with Madness Combat. The Internet Flash animated series about those humanoid great people with Raymond style limbs who kill each other constantly. There's more to it, but that's the gist. Well, if you know about this series, you would know that they are uploaded to YouTube by Prinkles, the creator of the series. I could go on and on about the characters like Tricky, Sanford, Hank, Demas, The Auditor, Jeebus, etc. But, if you don't know who those guys are, you just shouldn't be here. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, Madness 2. Well, I was rewatching some Madness episodes on new grounds, and I decided to search up Madness 2, for some reason, I kept scrolling through the results for no reason, until I found a video. A video titled, Madness2.SWF. The thumbnail was seemingly a screen cap from the former. The description, strangely, was, teeth. Nothing else, just that. Out of curiosity, I clicked it. And the video that played was just Madness Combat 2. Oh well, might as well watch it. The episode starts off normally, with Hank strangling the guy with the wire, and throwing his dead body into a manhole. However, the first difference is here. While Hank walks away, a grunt with no face other than teeth is shown behind the wall, very visible, surrounded by glitchy visuals. The screen goes staticky, before the teeth grunt disappears. Strangely, the cigarette and Mossberg 500 disappear, whenever the teeth grunt is on screen. Hank breaks into the building. However, when Hank finally gets into the building, one of the wanted posters has a faceless grunt with teeth. Just like who we saw outside watching Hank. Hank progresses through the building, and another difference is seen. Tricky is killed, and Hank kills the various people, Jeebus revives them. After Hank kills the zombies, more people come in, they die too. However at the last moment, the same strange grunt is there in the distance, still smiling. The demonic grunt disappears through the door afterwards, only to appear again through the other door on the right, now following Hank. The elevator scene plays out as normal, and the next scene occurs afterwards. This time, the difference is extremely cryptic and confusing, unlike the others, which just puts the grunt in the scene, barely interfering with the normal layout of the scene. But this time, an extra scene is added. Hank, entering the room, flickers into Hank's appearance from Madness 11. Suddenly, the background goes white. The music cuts out, and Hank is now his most famous version of himself. Text appears by his head. I remember all of this. Why am I here again? Why can't I leave? Suddenly, new text appears, and this time, it's red. I thought by now you would have forgotten Wimbledon. Or do you rather prefer to be called Hank? The teeth grunt appears, lunging towards Hank. It goes back to the original scene. Hank, now appearing as he originally did in the actual Madness Combat 2, seemingly wakes up. The employee of the month poster is replaced with, the one in control. The person in the photo is the teeth grunt, yet their name is not written. All the other grunts that would have been rushing at Hank, are now violently mutilated, mangled, dead, and lying on the floor. One of them is charred and burnt. Seemingly somebody took care of them. Somebody who isn't Hank. That creepy ass grunt. Everything goes normally afterwards. Hank attempts to find the sheriff, asks a guy, knocks him out, and makes his way to the room where the sheriff is. In the next room Hank enters, the room before the sheriff's office, the two fatter looking grunts are already dead in the corner. Hank kills the other characters, and we see Jeebus in through the door. But the screen doesn't fade away. Words appear on the walls, written in all caps and blood, reading. False God. Jeebus is now there, half of his head gone. The sheriff's room has a surprise waiting for him. The sheriff is already dead. Half of Jeebus's head is in the corner, surrounded by blood, giant gash in his face. But that's not all. The grinning demon grunt is now giant in size, and standing on the desk, waiting. Hank barely responds, only unloading his dual PPKs at the tooth demon before him. He puts some lead into him, but the demon regenerates his own flesh, and he then grabs Hank by the head. He throws Hank out the door he entered from. The music turns into an extremely sped up, loud, distorted and reversed version of the country music playing throughout the original episode. 
The demon chases Hank through the halls full of people, people who were already killed by Hank. He almost reaches the end, but the door disappears, the music gets even worse, as the demon begins to violently mutilate and kill Hank. He knocks Hank to the ground, and beats his face in. Blood sprays, he scratches his chest leaving a bloody mark, rips off his feet, he rips out his eyes and his jaw as well, and finally decapitates him. The scene changes to a silent, soundless image of the building outside. A frame passes by, and the building is instantly seen in flames. It looks like it was on fire for a while now. However, that's not all. Text appears in the auto-generated captions. The text is punctuated, capitalized, and all appears at once. It's a sentence. Goodbye, Wimbledon. The last frame is the grunt with the human teeth appearing on screen, as the distorted country music comes back. It then cut to black, and text appears. Moral, there is nothing left. Body count, 78 in total. My body count, 8 in total. I stared in shock at what I had just watched. What even was that? Clearly some fan-made video showing a fan-made story, yet the part that interests me the most is the implication that the smiling teeth demon was making Hank relieve the old madness combat too. I looked at the channel name, and I saw it was named, in all capital letters. Wrong. I looked in the comments. Everybody was talking about the animation, praising it, being confused, etc. But one comment, the pinned comment, unnerved me the most. The comment read, I can see you. And all the replies were just my name, over and over again. 